Come on. Oh yes, that's a beauty. Yeah. Oh yeah, Alex, look. I think that's a beautiful drawing. Yeah. How yeah. did you make this one, Kelvin? Um, my head, colours, ink colours. Ink colours, wasn't ink it? Ink colours. Yeah. yeah, ink colours. Inclusive Arts is about people from diverse backgrounds coming together through art to have a conversation or to find new knowledge. Arts-based research values different forms of knowledge. So within the arts research we look at well, where is knowledge held and who holds that knowledge. And so we get rid of the top-down expert idea and we talk about sharing knowledge and the mutual benefits of sharing that knowledge and that each person has knowledge of themselves and each person has knowledge of their own ideas and their own experience of humanity and when we can bring that together we use that for social change. We know what arts practice is, there's a whole history of it, we know what art therapy is, there's a whole history of it what we're dealing with with inclusive arts practice is trying to work out what is the best way to use arts so that groups of people from different backgrounds can come together, make art together and use art in one of the ways that it's always been used and that's to try and work out something about what it is to be human. My best colours. What we aim to do is break down prejudice and segregation and isolation. Where inclusive arts projects are really important is that in order to do all of the things that I've just claimed that we're trying to do, which is fairly large, we need to build artistic skills so that people have the skills and the tools together to do that. Look, and look, so that we look. do that in a high quality look. and therefore valued and look. much more precise look. manner. When we did our performance smudged at the Tate Modern, um, it was open to the public, it was a dance performance with performers with and without learning disabilities. The audience reaction really, really actually surprised me because quite a few people burst out crying. And myself and the other performers thought about that quite a lot afterwards because we thought we'd made a very celebratory piece of work. It wasn't, to our minds, a sad piece of work. And then when we got feedback from the audience, they were saying something about it deeply, deeply touched them inside to the point where it moved them to tears. So they weren't sad tears. I think it was people facing their own prejudices and thinking, oh my goodness, I'm looking at people, people that love, people that have ideas, people that have ambitions, people that have a soul. Any public institution has an absolutely crucial role in reflecting diversity and I think what's brilliant about having the rocket artists come here and have a look at what's on show and respond to what's on show and then perform your work is that that's a really good opportunity to share ideas and the community programme works with artist networks all the time. Adult informal learning is what we do and I think Seeing the rocket artist's response to the artwork on show and their performances is brilliant because a wider audience gets a chance to see the collection here and see the work of the rockets. So it's a great dynamic, it's a great way of working together. I know what Peter usually says, a bit treating like a baby, treating like a kid. Does that feel a bit treating like a you had two pieces of work up in the Tate Modern, didn't you, in the gallery in London. How did that make you feel? Perfect. Do you feel like an artist? Yeah. <laughs> We've also been working with um, Professor Bernard Dan, who's a, a leading cons paediatric consultant of disability in Brussels. Um, and we're looking very broadly at the sense of well-being and what it is to be healthy and what it is to be a whole and a whole person and in fact having a voice and having a creative outlet is very important to health and well-being. 
as well as very important to breaking down these notions of difference and, and that being problematic. So one of the things that inclusive arts really does um, is celebrate difference. We tend, especially as medical professionals, uh, to look at people with disabilities in a negative way. When I say negative, this is not moral. We tend to, um, to see how far or close they are uh, compared to a normal picture, a banal picture of how most people, uh, uh, how they are. And so we tend to see what they lack. And I think it's very important to have a new perspective, which is to see what people are, what they do, how they do it. We renounce the idea of I'm an expert and the person with a learning disability isn't, totally. We work together um, and we co-build the knowledge. Students continually tell me that they think they're gaining more from working with the people with learning difficulties than they are giving. Working with the artists with learning disabilities has uh, really given me a lot more ideas and I've put them into my own artwork so my interests have melted in with their interests and uh, it's turning into a whole new story. What do you think about working with a university student? Well, why actually? I find them very fun. And delightful and nice. So they do a good job here. What do you think the university students learn from you? All the, all the, um, let, all the um, w um, work they do. Like what I do, and they learn what I do on top and they copy. So when they do letters, uh, like, um, letters like this, they copy when they do their letters. Then they learn everything from me, actually, pictures as well. And paintings. <laughs> She's saying yes. They have an opportunity to work with someone who literally sees the world in a different way. If you're a successful art student, you've got into a high kudos university like Brighton University, you're in your second year, you know what you're doing. It's quite challenging and that challenge is ultimately rewarding. I would argue that if this doesn't get done, we would have more cases of bullying more instances of prejudice, more miserable things happening to people, and we would know less about what it is to be human. Amazing group.